PK, we're back again. I think this is the first one um, that we're doing this for the season. Uh, but also, your club this morning announced that you've signed uh, Thomas Lamb uh, to a two-year contract. What was it about Thomas that attracted Melbourne City? Why did you want to go after him? Yeah, look, I, I think we needed to um, uh, to look at our, and refresh our squad uh, in sort of some positions that were needed. Um, and, you know, Thomas was available. Um, so, you know, he, he fits the way we want to play. Um, he fits our style. I've spoken to him um, personally. So I think it was an easy, um, an easy one to bring in, but also, you know, looking at his sort of career and that, it, it was sort of a, a very lucky and an eye opener that, you know, we're able to, you know, to attract someone of his calibre. Um, and we're, we're glad to, you know, to have him, um, you know, within our team. What role do you primarily see Thomas filling this season? Obviously, he can play in the midfield, in the back. Where do you primarily see him playing for you? Uh, it, it depends, you know. Um, like you said, he's, he can cover two positions. So for us, you know, I'm not going to limit him to one or the other. Um, you know, again, he's, he can play two, and you know, we're very lucky to have that you know, scenario within our team. Personality-wise, what's he like? Obviously, you've got a long-standing culture there at Melbourne City, one that players need to buy into and fit in. How's that fit? Yeah, look, uh, you know, I spoke to him, you know, over uh, a phone call and, you know, I sort of, uh, you know, spoke to him about, you know, what, what it's like here. And, you know, you've got to look at his career. Now, he's been a captain nearly everywhere he's gone. So uh, the, the, he understands what leadership and, you know, how to bring a group together. Um, so, again, it was, it was an easy one, you know, didn't need too much convincing, but he understands the, the you know, um, what we want to build here and the way we're going and, you know, he fits into that. PK, okay, when are you hoping for, for Thomas to link up? Is it, you know, is it a, a few uh, more weeks or when are you expecting him to join the squad? Yeah, look, I think it's all about, you know, sort of a bit of paperwork, um, visas and stuff like that. So, look, all that sort of thing is in the process of happening. Um, you know, whenever it gets done, you know, he, he'll be here. Um, but again, the, the quicker he is, the better for us. Uh, but we know these things, you know, sometimes take a bit of time. And in terms of uh, without them doing a two-week quarantine period? Sorry, what was that? Is it nice to be able to sign players without them doing a two-week quarantine period? Yeah, uh, I didn't even know that, to be honest. I thought there's still the rules. But yeah, it's, it's great, you know. Um, again, it just makes it easier, I think, for not just my team but the teams that are you know getting foreign players you know, to get foreigners into this country and getting to you know uh playing and training as quickly as possible in terms of uh richard and callum as well pk how have they fit in uh since they've arrived yeah really good um you know we've got richard who's an experienced player um who you know a a again it fits in within our style and our behaviors um he's been fantastic amongst the group and, um, you know, obviously you've got uh, young Callum who, a again, um, fit into our, you know, our culture and the way we play fantastically well. You know, he's bought, in, bought into everything that we've done. Um, and it's great because he's hung hungry to play. Um, it's a new environment for him. You know, I, I think he's going out of his comfort zone, to be honest with you, in terms of moving away from home. So, you know, we want those players that, you know, that want to do well in their careers. So, again, we're happy with both of them. And in terms of the wash-up from the, the Newcastle game, um, obviously it's been two weeks now. I guess what are some of the things that came out of that that uh, you know you saw and you're obviously looking to take into tomorrow night? Yeah, it's different. You know, again, people remember we're still in pre-season, so you know it's getting that juggling act of pre-season and, and games. You know, so look, look, I think the good thing is that you know players got some minutes. Um, they they played a competitive game. Um, Again, and it's the same again tomorrow. The only difference is, you know, we're playing against an A-League uh, team. So, uh, you know, we're, again, we're, we're both maybe in the same boat. But, again, we, we want to push and, and, and do well. Uh, Aidan O'Neill missed that Australia Cup game, still recovering from that foot injury. How's he, how's he tracking? Yeah, it's what I know. He, he's, he's on track. Um, you know, he's been be more involved in football, which is good to see. Um, uh, again, I think his recovery is going really well. Uh, when he'll be expected to be back in full, uh, I don't know. 
Um, but by all accounts, you know, he, he's making the right progress. And uh, Andrew Naboot and um, Van der Ven also missed that game against the Olympic. Are either of them a chance to feature tomorrow? Uh, possibly. Again, we, you know, we just need to manage a few things, but, you know, they've, uh, they've trained well uh, during the week, so, you know, they're up for selection. I think you've, you've brought in three signings now, PK, but I think you've still got another international um, slot to play around with if you want. Obviously, you can bring in more Aussie players. Are you done in the transfer market or are you still looking to add a few more pieces? Uh, look, we'll see, you know. I just I don't want to bring players just to make up the numbers, you know. I'll always add uh, to the group if I think they add to the team. So, you know, hence why we've added these, these uh, you know, th these players. And, you know, like you said, possibly there is availability, you know, for someone else to come in. Um, but again, I won't bring in anybody that, you know, will make up numbers. I'll bring in someone that, you know, will you know, uh, add to the squad. Are there and, uh, um, any positions you'd like to increase your depth in? So, sorry, what was that? Are there any positions you'd like to increase your depth in? Yeah, all 11 would be great. Um, but I know that's impossible. So, you know, we'll see what, you know, comes up. And the right option, you know, I'm sure that, you know, we'll take that as a club. And PK, obviously, you know, the, the, the academy side has had such a good year in the NPL this year, you know, secure promotion, still going for the championship. And a lot of those guys now are getting an opportunity like Luke did and obviously scored. Um, how much of a bonus is it that these guys are now taking their opportunity to senior level, but also performing so well, you know, in a competition that is quite tough, playing against grown men every week, I guess, you know, seeing their development. How have you seen it over this period of time? Yeah, it, it's great. Um, you know, obviously, look... You know, our probably senior NPL team is probably the youngest in the country. You know, we have a lot of, lot of young players, you know, 15. Max is, Caputo is still 16 years old, playing in a senior men competition. So it, it's great that, you know, they're, they're performing uh, against men. Um, but it shows that they're able to play against men. Um, and they're playing, you know, in, in a way that probably people wouldn't think they could play that division. So... It's really, it's really satisfying to see that, you know, um, you know, it's great for promotion and, and I'm really proud of the players and the coaching staff that, um, of the NPL senior team. But it's all that, also the performance, you know, it just shows that, you know, if you're consistently playing uh, at a way that, you know, you end up being, you put yourself in a position to do that and that's what they've done. So um, it's great to see that they've done that as a team and individuals have benefited of that because they're trained with the first team. PK, this new Australia Cup format, we're packing all the national stages into this two-month period before the season starts, final the week before the season. You a fan of the new format? <laughs> like I said, I don't make decisions. Um, you know, all I can do is, again, it's difficult when you're going through pre-season. That's one thing I will say. When you're trying to juggle and get the most out of pre-season, um, you don't dictate the pre-season, the cup dictates the pre-season. So, you know, we've just got to adapt. It's just another thing that we have to adapt to and I think we've done quite well in that. And you're playing this game at Casey Fields, the first time City's men will have played a competitive fixture down there in Casey. Big occasion for the club and the fans down there? Yeah, I think, I think it's great for the community um, to, to be involved in or be able to come to watch a game um, at, you know, at their, their back doorstep. So, look, we encourage everyone to come and watch. Um, it's great for us, great for our community. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. And, obviously, I have to ask, given the way the last game went, have you practised penalties ahead of this game? Oh, we have, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, of course, you know, it's part and parcel with, you know, with the... Uh, a cup competition, you know, it's normal. So, um, yeah, we have.